Praise God. Welcome everyone to this prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we thank you for this moment, the gift of life. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, guide us to the truth. Amen. <clears throat> Sisters and brothers, let's give glory to God for God's compassion and His mercy upon each one of us and our families today. We offer whatever that we are going through right now in our personal life whatever the difficulties, or if there is any struggles, or offer our responsibilities of this moment and this day. Let's offer all the members of our families, if we can remember the names of them, and through the Immaculate Heart of our Blessed Mother, let's surrender all the activities of this moment and today at the foot of Jesus. Prepare ourselves to do the surrender prayer. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me and the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live according to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart, and my body. Use it for your eternal glory. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let us read God's word together. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 13. He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Sisters and brothers, <clears throat> I'm sure that we have just completed Gospel of Matthew chapter 15, where Jesus clearly speaks, it's not that what going into the mouth defiles a person. What comes out of your mouth proceeds from your heart. This is exactly what defiles you. And now another thing Jesus is teaching, whatever the plants that is in you, which are not planted by my heavenly father, will be uprooting, will be uprooted from you. Maybe a good day as we are close, immediately preparing for the big uh, week or holy week next to week onwards. Maybe good to reflect today. What are the plants within me? What are the things within me which are not planted by my heavenly Father? Remember, God planted each one of us as a good seed, as a good seed. Now, when we look into the weeds, how the weeds come up in life. So that's why it's always good to reflect what are the plants within me which are not planted by my heavenly Father? I have a great responsibility to uproot those plants which are not planted by my Heavenly Father. If there is any of those plants planted, by, planted in me because of my sinfulness, sinful tendencies, 
because of somebody else uh, evil tendencies upon me whatever i need to really look into this and uproot those plants so that i will be always evergreen i will always be good as the way god planted me on this planet <clears throat> thank you father for this help a humble prayer enlighten our mind with the truth inflame our heart with your love enrich our life with the more and more service lord bless us with your wisdom we pray help us to practice genuine love which unites everyone together in christ jesus give us this day the grace to live now as you intend dear god to smile even when a burden seem heavy a heart seem broken let us be charitable and humble in humiliation and in all our inconveniences above all O merciful Father, let us suffer without regret for your holy will. Amen. Sisters and brothers, this is the moment. Let's offer all our limitations, all our restrictions, whatever, whatever the vulnerabilities or whatever the weaknesses of our flesh, the areas we are helpless, offer to God with a sincere heart and let us trust in god asking god for his deliverance son of god came to the world to destroy evil and the works of devil i've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the powers of the world and nothing shall harm you they have conquered evil by the blood of the lamb i have come so that you may have life life in abundance i your servant exercising the priestly ministry in the most holy name of jesus asking god's deliverance upon his children right now father god we believe and profess that you are all powerful and almighty god you always listen to the prayers of your children we surrender the totality of our life today asking your healing hand upon our body and soul let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ i command in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit all the evil powers that troubles and disturbs us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ let those evil powers move into the foot of the cross of jesus of nazareth never come back to us again i'm the child of the father i'm the body of jesus christ i'm the temple of the holy spirit i belong to heaven evil you have no right and authority over me amen <clears throat> So sisters and brothers let us intercede for the whole world asking god's mercy upon this world praying for world peace for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion mercy on us and on the whole world our father who art in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray for all the departed members of our families, particularly those souls in purgatory. May the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women blessed is the fruit of your womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen 
let's offer people from maybe our own families who are away from God, away from sacraments, people who reject God and deny God, those who persecute Christians and believers, and even those who speak ill about the priest and the religious and the church generally. Lord, have mercy on them. O blood and water which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as the fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Let us claim Psalm 91, assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Make me a channel of your grace. We pray, Sacred Heart of Jesus, Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Vincent de Paul, pray for us. Saint Mary Magdalene, pray for us. Saint Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. Let us pray together. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Today's our special intention. We are praying for all the sick people. Whatever the uh, sicknesses we have, we pray and we offer. And if you know sick people in your families or people around you, remember them and let us receive priestly blessing. Lord, I'm not worthy of you, but in the abundance of your love, your mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sisters and brothers, thank you so much for your praise for the last three days of our retreat. Uh, we had a really good time. We remembered you in our praise. And those who are in Sydney, those who are in Sydney, uh, today we have uh, evening, 6 o'clock onwards, 6.30 onwards, we have retreat in Good Shepherd Parish in Hoston Park. Hoston Park, Good Shepherd Parish, 6.30 onwards today, London retreat, just one evening, one evening day retreat. You're most welcome. If you can, you're most welcome. 22nd on Palm Sunday, we have a solemn way of the cross at Divine Retreat Center on 22nd of this month, coming Sunday, a solemn celebration of Palm Sunday. And also we have solemn way of the cross during the London season and the London retreat. You are most welcome to Divine Retreat Center this Sunday. Today's our Bible reading, Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 16. Uh, we are praying. Uh, thank you so much once again for prayers. And uh, my praise for all your intentions. Have a blessed day, sisters and brothers.